Hello, this is Kara coughing. Kara BC is more accurate. I'm eating an excellent chocolate chunk cookie from Walmart, which everybody else is eating for dessert, but I'm the one that's been in ministry. It's 136. I've already put up a bunch of social media communicated with people to try to have more peace and just found out that I get to watch Mrs. Doubtfire with my family tonight. We're making chicken, green bean casserole and stuff. But that doesn't account for the fact that I didn't, my daughter couldn't answer the phone, my adult daughter. She doesn't know what has happened to me and I don't know what has happened to her in the past week, but I checked up on her and I was wishing that I could invite her tonight because I knew we were going to do something and the politics in my family are running very high and it is my daughters and I that that lost out and the only reason that lost and the only reason that I'm saying that is because I was bullied this week and I was specifically charged with you're the reason that your relationship is bad with your daughters now, I don't know if my daughters agree with that or not, but I did have a daughter quietly come in and I have never identified the daughter, but I have told people this repeatedly. One of my daughters came in and said, you're being lied to about your children. So I don't know why that was stuffed down my throat, basically, stuffed in my face, said that way to me, but yet the person that I do know because of the suffering in their lives and I have no intention of charging them with anything because I know what they've been through. It is people older than that, including my own mother, who's in the grave now, that are not admitting the bullshit they pulled since 2008. And honestly, I don't know who it is anymore. And I'm just being told by several family members, you know, I'm gonna move on. But when I explain to someone in my life yesterday, the difference between just sleep, sweeping something under the rug and doing the best I could to reconnect my life, I got lectured and somebody got angry. Okay? My life has run this way. I either shut up and did it the way somebody else did it as since, since I was a child, or I was going to have hell to pay depending on whoever decided they didn't give a fuck about the fact that I'm a woman too. I'm a person too. I've worked my ass off as well. And there's a shit ton of people that forget that in the mo in the heat of the moment when they're upset at me. And they never, or rarely ever, I should say rarely ever, because I can pinpoint who actually came back at times. I, I can equally pinpoint people who will only apologize because you push them to it. And then keep going with negative shit because they're justifying themselves and they don't want to go back and own their shit. I'm talking somewhat mostly about older people, but the thing is, is that teenagers in this day and age, from the ages of, well, they'd be 40 now, on down, they have, because of the rampant issues of social media and whatnot, they have issues in their lives that Gen X and baby boomers can't really identify with. So, you know, they get this whole thing in their, in their makeup that, oh, you can't help us with that. You don't know. You don't understand. And I've had that said to me repeatedly, and I'm a sorceress who knows a hell of a lot more than anybody wants to admit around me. I've been having to hide the, my actual true self, my gifting for years because of this bullying that I've been, I'm continuing to get. I'm also an exorcist and nobody wants to know about that, nor do they want to appreciate what I've been through to help them with deliverance since I'm an exorcist. Nobody wants to talk about that. Christians are bullshitters when it comes to exorcism because they don't understand how they haven't evolved and they're not interested in understanding. And it doesn't matter what age they are. Because those baby boomers and Gen Xers are parenting in that way and they have no intention of backing down.
Most of them are Republicans. Some of them actually approve of Donald Trump still trying to run for president when he should be in jail. They're criminals. They're, they're accessory to the crime at this point. If you're in the Republican Party, you're an accessory to the crime of this nation. When did it start, Kara? At the signing of the Constitution, if you want the honest fucking truth. <coughs> I don't need to know any more history to tell you the truth. I've said this a billion times. I'm just kidding. That's an exaggeration. Which, with the onset of the internet and social media, exaggeration is normal. It should not be normal. It should be an exaggeration. Gah. Elementary, my dears. Any narrative, any, that does not take into effect what happened to the black people, the American Indians, and the women at the time of the signing of the Constitution is an asshole, in my estimation, at this point. You've been schooled enough. You don't even have to read, adult, to figure out that there was one person. This is not commonly taught in our schools at all, period. There is one person, one man, one white penis that said, no, I'm not signing this document. You need to put more in there about the freedom of the slaves, much less women. You know, women had to come later. We're, we're, we're just supposed to be servants of men having their children and, and even enjoying it when we're being raped already. This shit is in social media. Just like people trying to talk down the horror of the Holocaust, much, much, much more the horror of the Holocaust of rape victims and incest victims and child pornography all over the place now. Not to mention actual real genocide of whole tribes of people in other parts of the world, okay? This is the ugly side. The actual hell on earth. Well, you know. I'm not going to give up. You're welcome. started this video to simply say passive aggression is a big problem and people are trying to pick fights they call them fights around me all the time and if you're gonna heal if you're me that's tricky but I have figured some things out. And I'm here to say, for anybody who likes me or is trying to like me after all of that bullshit we just got pulled through, I can guarantee you if you're trying to like me and I'm doing the same thing for you, you're welcome. I don't think that occurs to people when they're talking smack in my face. Okay, so this is the world we live in, and I just want you to know, I'm coming back. I want to love and like everybody, everybody, just like I kept saying, my emotions are starting to heal, and you don't get the story of how that's happening, but I will say this. I've been taking some really deep sleeps, restorative sleeps here lately, and I just want to put two facts together. Way ago in my ministry, probably some YouTubes are still there, probably not the writing because it was a huge battle to get here to the place where my writing stays on the internet. 
because people hate people like me who say you shouldn't, you should go to jail if you molested your daughter. See, people hate, white boys particularly are really good at hating people who are going to take exception to their sexual practices with their children and shit like that. But, did you just watch what the big black dude who's on the Supreme Court did as a Republican? So it ain't just white people anymore. Let's, let's talk, let's not talk about it. Let's just motion to that because I don't want to get into it today. I want you to know that I'm coming back. And I want you to know that I am actually feeling my love finally for years that I said I was in while people kept hitting me trying to do whatever they're doing with me. They don't even know anymore. They just have a guilty conscience and they need to apologize for their part and change their behaviors. It is really that simple. I haven't raised 10 highly gifted children for nothing, y'all. You don't need a college education. Matter of fact, that is just going to be a waste of time if you're in my shoes, let me tell you, raising 10 kids in this society. Now, you're going to start seeing me in public wearing sunglasses. I avoided doing that because of people that posture around me. And posturing sucks, but it's a normal part of life anymore. It's just there. It's a normal fucking part of life. Because of social media and people just are trying to get on camera, trying to be popular, trying to have attention on them. And I'm so sorry that your life is like that. America, little I, I'm in there too. I'm sorry our life is like this. This is a mess. Okay. But I'm wearing sunglasses because I'm finally having to come to grips with the fact of my visionary ability and how I need to protect myself physically and metaphysically. So in public, I, I just want you to know, I am sensitive to light until I'm not. I am sensitive to fluorescent light. I am not sensitive to noise anymore, but I have tons of headphones and stuff, you know, that I use so that I can stay focused on my life, okay? And I'm realizing today that I need to wear uh, sunglasses more because I bought some a day ago. I was uh, near the Monkey's Nest coffee shop and I was at the HEB and at the Walgreens over there and I was actually walking uh, instead of just driving my car all over these little bitty places, it's like, what the fuck, Kara, stop. And I had a good walk, and I had a good time, and I got some things that I needed. And one of those things was I went ahead and tried sunglasses again. And I'm realizing I can stay calmer, have fewer times when my mind is switching from one thought process to another because there's so much hitting me all the time when I go out public just like every other normal person. Shit, you look at your phone or you look at your at your TV or you look at your um, computer, your laptop, your whatever, whatever, and you're being hit with so much information, we're all a miracle, okay? So, I'm trying to learn to stop having, having panic attacks, basically, but also... I'm also learning to remove myself when somebody else is struggling and they, they need to be at proof. They need, they need somebody like me to be kind in their healing process and not try to tell them what to do, not try to get them out of it. They've got to figure it out themselves, which I haven't been too good about that and I will openly apologize. But if you see me publicly, I'm not posturing to wear the fucking glasses, okay? Sunglasses. I know other people do it because they've been drugging. Other people do it because they want to look cool. Other people do it for this, that, and the other. I don't do it for those reasons. And I was trying to just not do any of that for a long time because of this shit that goes on publicly. But I give up. If I'm wearing glasses, it's the same reason why I put music in my ears. It's to focus and to, and to do what's good for me. When it's hot, when it's sunny, fluorescent lights, lots of noise, those things trip all of us out. I'm simply honest in saying so, and I'm going to do something about it because when I started putting the glasses on, particularly when it's hot and sunny like it is right now, out here in Texas, and I'm just getting in from my errands, it makes a very huge difference in how I feel. 
I just ate the cookie because I've been sweating a lot. I have been hydrating properly. I've been doing a lot of uh, work, different kinds of work that I enjoy, so it's kind of not work. And again, I'm looking forward to a movie tonight. We're going to cook together. I've got a lot of fun today, including the work I just did. Okay? So that's a positive day for me. I'll close this with what I have said. There is only one man who can heal me from some of this metaphysical stuff because it was he was the one I was testifying about coming back. I just had a feather drop because I've got pigeons on my roof. You all know who that is. So I want him to know that I thank him for his ministry to me. I don't know how it's happening. And even if I did, you're not going to get those details. But I am telling you that it's coming true. And that it, there's been some times here lately, I come in, I have to take a nap. And the naps are way more restorative than anything I've ever had before. I also happen to know I have the ministry of putting people to sleep to restore them. So we have the same gifting there. This is Tara closing out. Bye.